All right, sorry about that, guys. Uh, just had to uh, take that phone call. But uh, all right, so we are going to put Gideon on the bottom here, and just because like we need to draw lands, and uh, I'm fine on drawing the swamp. So let's go ahead and draw that guy, and we can play it. Next turn we can play Liliana, make him get rid of that plated GOP, assuming of course that he doesn't play another uh, um, uh, another dude. But even if he does play another dude, that's still a fine play. Uh, I mean, the Gideon is actually really good against them, but um, I, like I just I need to draw the lands, so it's it'd be kind of greedy to keep it. <laughs> All right, it's not a fetch land, so that makes me a little happier. We're only taking three and not five here. And hopefully he doesn't play another creature, because then I can just play Liliana, make him sack, and uh, he's going to be a pretty rough spot. If I draw another island, then we can play Control Magic as well. Or Jace, you know. I'm hoping the game lasts long enough that I can play this Angel Despair that should be able to uh, swing things around quite nicely. Alright. So, we did draw a second blue source... I still don't think I want to play Jace this turn, so I'm just going to play Liliana, make him sacrifice a creature. Liliana's going to die, that's fine. I'm, I'm willing to accept that. So... Boom. Let's just use it as a 3 mana removal spell that uh, gains us a couple life. Crit Ape is Bites the Dust. No, I'm, I'm fine with him sacking the Crit Ape, just because like, he's going to run out of lands eventually. And uh, I do have two control magic effects in my deck, one of which is in my hand. And Crit Ape is just an awful creature for me to steal. Whereas, like, play the GP is still pretty bad, but at least it has first strike. So at least it holds off any X1s. Uh, Alright, so I'm assuming Liliana's going to bite it here. That's fine. Yep. Force him to... Well, it doesn't really force him to waste a land drop on it, but um, what it does do is uh, make him waste a land drop. Because, I mean, he could, in theory, not play land, but then he's not playing his fourth land. <laughs> so, I mean, he's just, he just, he just boned either way. So that, that Liliana did did quite a lot of work there. Killed the Kurdate and gained us three life and made him use uh, one of his uh, his dudes here. All right, Essential Vision's going to fire off fairly soon. And by fairly soon, I mean next turn. Uh, so here I think we could steal the Plated Geopede. Uh, I could play Jace and draw a card or make us both draw a card, but then he can just play a land and just kill it. That doesn't seem very good. Uh, I think we're just going to steal the plated GOP, because then that, that, that's going to hold off the uh, the Tin Street for the rest of the game. So, um, I mean, it, it kind of sucks having to use a, a Control Magic on a 1-1, but um, I, I'd rather not have to take uh, a bunch more damage off of it. And what have we here? Swords to Plowshares. Okay. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's still pretty good. Like, I'm trading a control magic for his biggest creature and a sword supply shares. And all he has in play is a 2-1. I, I think we're doing pretty good now. Uh, so again, we're going to hold off this underground river, just because, uh, he did show us the rune blaster last game, so I don't want to unnecessarily expose it. And uh, it's not like we have anything in our deck that costs uh, more, like triple blue or triple black. So I'm uh, I'm just gonna play it once I run out of lands. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. All right. Okay. I guess that kind of makes the Swords of Plowshares play make a little bit more sense since he knew he was gonna be casting Wheel pretty soon. But I th like we're gonna be ousting something probably. 
and then follow that up with Consecrated Sphinx, and it's going to be pretty hard for him to win. Demir Signet, just full on five color aggro. It'd be pretty funny if I ousted his uh, his Tin Street, and then when he replayed it, he t played it with a forest. <laughs> and I was forced to kill his own Demir Signet. That would be pretty funny. Pretty funny. I don't know if, like, because uh, he may not realize it's it's not a May ability. Alright, so let's draw some cards. One of my favorite things to do. Almost certainly going to have to discard a few cards this turn, but, uh, you know, I can live with that. So I, I think ousting here is better than casting the Edict. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. So let's play the planes. Oh, still an upkeep. Get to draw another card. Okay, so I think I can oust and play Exalted Angel. Play it face down. So let's get rid of this guy. Play this guy. And I can discard a, a Basilica. I, I'm pretty sure I, I don't want to cast it anytime soon. I, like, we're not going to be missing any land drops anytime soon, so it's uh, totally fine to get rid of it. So the plan next turn is to flip my Exalted Angel, leave up mana for Edict, and following turn I can cast Sphinx if I need to. I, I don't really need to though. Like I'm gonna play Sphinx and then like decline to use its ability fairly fairly quickly. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Getting decked is a, is a real danger with this deck. <laughs> but man, Sheldock Isle would have been amazing. Because like, I always have less than 20 cards. Like, yes, I realize I drew seven cards off of Wheel of Fortune, but uh, it's pretty easy for this deck to just draw uh, just a bunch of cards. Molten Tail Masticore. That's kind of annoying. Hopefully he doesn't have another... Did he play a land? Yeah, he did. So I can just kill it. Or not... Unfortunately, this Diabolic Edict is not going to quite get her done. I think I still want to kind of make the same play. So let's go ahead and flip it. This is a fairly hard race for him to win, so I'm, I'm still fe feeling pretty fine about this. He has uh, one creature in the bin to uh, activate his Massacre with.
Yeah, Molten Tail and Astacor is not typically a card uh, I like very much in, in cube, but it's pretty good in this situation, I guess. I, I don't know if it's going to be enough, though. All right, what's happening here? Again, he only has the one creature, so... I'm not really worried about him shooting the Exalted Angel twice. Oh, he's gonna mind twist me. That's annoying. Uh, I guess I can Edict him in response. Alright, well, uh, this is quickly becoming a very non-interactive game. <laughs> But in terms of the board, um, I'm ahead there. And if he plays one more card, if he if he plays that uh, Tin Street in his hand, uh, he's going to be a Master Core Lock. So I, I think that's pretty good for me. Oh, Rune Blaster. I have a lot of live draws here. Gideon Jura would be a nice one. Uh, actually, Gideon Jura is the last card in my deck, so that's not going to happen. <laughs> Soren Lord of Innistrad, though. That works. Make a dude and say go. Like, I realize he can just kill the Sorin with uh, his Molten Tail Masticore, but that just that just makes it so, like, I win the race even more. Like, it's going to be even harder for him to win. Kills the vampire. Sure. Guess it does the same thing. Yeah, three more turns of this and he's dead. He can't play a card for the he, he can't play a spell for the rest of the game, or else he loses his Masticore. And he has what two more things he can shoot me with? Ooh, ultimate price. Fortunately, that does not kill Molten Tail Massacre, but it does kill the Rune Blaster. Which, uh, I don't know if it's even worth it to do that, but. Because that's just give him, that's just going to give him more food for his, uh, Massacre.
So you give me for six, I go to seven, choose me for another four, I go to three, then I attack, I go back up to seven. And he attacks me for six. Yeah, ultimate price doesn't actually do anything here. It's it's, it's actually better to to not cast it. It's gonna be close though. Ooh, sore temptation. Well, let's get in there with uh, Exalted Angel, I guess. And the Sword Temptation should be GG. I mean, I I'm pretty sure it was GG anyway, but like, this is going to make force him to uh, use an activation on the Sword. Because basically, like, I just steal the uh, the Master Core. Okie dokie. You work for me now. And he has to kill me this turn or kill my sower. Oh, even killing the sower, like, he has to kill me this turn, basically. Yep. All right, we are going to the finals. We'll see you guys shortly.